you're ready to conduct a validation exercise, but how do you assemble your team? Well, the team must meet the requirements of the standards for RTOs and ensure that any trainer or assessor directly involved with delivery does not lead or make decisions in the validation exercise. This removes bias and clarifies roles. Your validation team also needs to have current knowledge and skills in vocational teaching and learning. This includes appropriate vocational competencies, industry knowledge and skills, and of course, an appropriate training and assessment qualification or assessor skill set. So if your provider has limited training and assessment staff, what are your options? Firstly, take a look internally. You could use trainers or assessors for other training products or staff in other compliance related roles. Secondly, think about engaging externally. Look at a consultant working in the vet industry, employers and industry bodies you have already worked with, or representatives of other training providers. Finally, when you're sourcing your validation team, remember that your team as a whole must meet the requirements, not each individual. Bringing your validation team together really is a team effort.